Federal officials say they found a body today in Wyoming believed to be Gabby Petito, the missing social media blogger. Petito and her boyfriend, Brian Laundry, left in July on a cross-country trek in a converted fan to visit national parks. Petito has been missing since mid-September. Laundry, who has been identified as a person of interest in the case, has also disappeared. Tonight, investigators continue to search for him. The families of Gabby Petito and Brian Laundry are reacting to the discovery of a body found near Grand Teton National Park. Earlier today, human remains were discovered, consistent with the description of Gabrielle Gabby Petito. Full forensic identification has not been completed to confirm 100% that we found Gabby. Petito's family issuing this statement, saying they are grieving and thanking law enforcement for their efforts. The discovery, as officials in Florida search through thousands of acres of swamp for Petito's boyfriend, Brian Laundry. It's an area Laundry's family told police he may be. Laundry, a person of interest in the disappearance of Petito. He obviously is the key to this case. I mean, there are two huge red flags with him. He didn't report her missing and he's not helping the police. The Laundry family attorney says the news about Gabby Petito is heartbreaking and they're praying for her and her family. Investigators say the two were on a cross country trip and Laundry returned home to Florida without her. These images of officers responding to a 911 call following an argument between the two in Utah days before Gabby was last seen. Gabby's mother says Gabby later told her over the phone they were in Wyoming heading to Yellowstone. Miranda Baker says days after Gabby was last seen, Baker and her boyfriend picked up a hitchhiker they now believe was Brian Laundry, dropping him off that night. The Northport Police Department says Baker's timeline is plausible. He got out and, you know, he was, he was thankful and he was kind of in a hurry. He said he was going to go across the street into the parking lot and find someone else to give him a ride. Andrew Dimber, ABC News, New York.